This software tutorial will be an introduction to the general layout of the EDAX APEX software. To start, we launch the APEX software and then we either create a new project or select a recently created project. In this case, I'll select the Movies project. We're now ready to start working with APEX. First, I'll guide us through the most commonly used functions and introduce us to the various areas of the software. On the top file bar, we have various options available to us. The first one is to view and show the project tree, and this is where all of our data will be stored automatically. Next, we can show and hide the image, which is one of the panels that we have working with us while we're in spectrum and imaging and mapping mode. We could also show and hide the quantitative analysis area, and also the mapping if we're in mapping mode and the spectrum. We can also view the scan list, which would, will be a very important function for us as we do multipoint analysis. We also have an advanced panel that gives us some working areas to control the detector. Finally, we could switch between review and live mode, depending upon which type of data analysis we want to do. We next have the user profile located over here, and we click on the EDAX Apex area to open up the user profile. This is where you can do things like change your application logo and select status bar items, turn off your detector if you're not using it, as well as change custom image folder locations, uh, change the storage drive for where you want to automatically store your data. Also change the different color scheme of our software. We can send uh, the data to a file with a custom name or number or date, and we could also select automatic backup options. We also have an about area, which provides some useful technical support information, as well as showing the user manual. Next, we have our top activity bar. This is where we'll be using the most commonly used functions, such as collect image. And in order to collect the image, we just click on the camera. And if we wanted to have a little bit more control, we could click on the collect image with the arrow and have some customized functions available to us. Next, we could collect data. Now this collect button is always going to apply to whatever the active mode is. So for example, now we're in spectrum mode, so when I click on collect, it will collect the spectrum for us. And about five seconds in, we get our automatic peak ID. And now that's stopped automatically for us based on our quality setting. A few of the other options are selecting what type of spectrum we collect, so whether we select from a normal rectangle or a freehand draw or even a grid of areas. Now you can also individually select points by either clicking on a single point or clicking and dragging to draw a box. The next area that's useful is our quality settings, and these allow us to determine how long we're going to collect our data for. In this case, it will be for however long we're collecting our spectrum for. Finally, the layout allows us to change how we view the data available to us. So, for example, the image and quant and spectrum, or just the image and the spectrum. Finally, we also have custom layout options, so you can customize the windows to exactly the size and shape and aspect ratio that you would like, and you could also save those layouts. The next area that we'll look into is the more detailed functionality of the software, and this is where we click on these small arrows located underneath the functions. This will open up a box that allows us to have finer control of things like element ID, investigating our, our file parameters, and changing some of our processing associated with the spectrum. Also, for quality settings, we're able to control how long we collect the spectrum for, and also whether we're interested more in speed, which is higher throughput, or resolution, which is a better quality spectral resolution. This will conclude the 
EDAX Apex general layout of the software.